Yeah, 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 man. You already know what the fuck it is, man. DJ Jerry, a.k.a. the voice of the streets. It's that motherfucking Mixtape Trappers Radio, man. We back at it again for the second time, ho. Richie with the hits. What's happening? What it do, y'all? <laughs> What's happening, bro? Shit, chillin', chillin'. Hey, you know, you gotta be special, bro, because, dog, everybody don't get two interviews on Mixtape Trappers, bro. <laughs> for real, bro. You know, shout out Mixtape Trappers, man. They're <laughs> always looking out, supporting me 100%. No Since bullshit. the beginning. No bullshit. Bullshit. Hey, yeah, but, man, what's going on, man? You, you know it's tax season right now, officially, <laughs> but it don't even feel like tax season. I'm with <laughs> I'm with, though. Like, it don't even feel like tax season right now, bro. Man, this is corona, dog. Corona? You crazy, dog. This is yeah. nuts. <laughs> No, because you know, at least at least at this time, bro, it's after February, bro. Like motherfuckers be spending money buying some, bro, showing some, bro. I don't see, I don't see nothing, bro. Like niggas fucked up or, oh, or what? Man. You know, it's it's the cap season's over, man. Yeah. Now it shows, you know, this is gonna separate the man from the boys <laughs> this time. Whoever's shooting videos and paying them prices, you know, right? Niggas ain't shooting no videos and doing shit right now, yeah. except for the you know, the core, right? The usual suspects. You know what I'm saying? But shit, you know, I've been seeing you, bro. Like, I've been watching since the pandemic, bro. You've been working, man. <laughs> no, for real, bro. You've been working, bro. Like, I see you dropped the 23-24 EP. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Like, like talk about that. Like, like how did that shit even come about? Man, you know, everybody been wanting me to drop music for the longest time, and I was just I was just tired of it. Yeah. I'm like, man, I got to put something out for them. Like, even if it's a demo, I had a bright idea of coming out with an EP, so I'm like, I'm just putting my best songs that I got right now on here and then just shoot to them. Right. That's my little my little plan yeah, yeah. for this year. I got like four out the way so far, so I just got one more to shoot out the EP. I only got like two out right now, 24, and I live this. Go go check them out. They're streaming on all platforms. Bullshit. Yeah, yeah, but what made you want to call the EP 2324? Like, what was the inspiration behind that? Um... Well, I was, I I was twenty three, turning twenty four. Um, in the twenty four video, it was my birthday. I shot that in, okay. at the Dells. But um, I'm trying to. Oh yeah, that's around the time Kobe died too. So I was like, let me just tie it in. I'm turning twenty four. Twenty three is like a special number for me because it's like my golden birthday. My yeah. birthday's on the twenty third. So like, that's just crazy. made sense. Oh, good shit. Shit, what you do at the deals, bro? Like, what happened? You, 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 man, you know, it was, it was, it was a lot of just trying to find locations. Like, I had some fun and stuff, but mm. it was kind of cold. I ain't gonna lie, it was definitely a little bit cold. But we still went to Noah's Ark and made the best of it. I was really just trying to find scenes to make it look good, you know? Right. No bullshit. Hey, yeah, cause I like the live this video, bro. Like that uh, shit, that shit went crazy, I though. Appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? But like, um, like what's the next one? What's the next video you think you're gonna drop? So I got some shit coming out with Denaro Gang Ray. Shout yeah. out to Denaro Gang Ray. That's uh, my boy, Ray, man. Um, it's called Diamonds on Me. It's another song off the EP too. Shit hard. Man, I appreciate that. Um, yeah, that one's gonna be nice, man. I I pulled out some little some little tricks up my sleeve with that one. I like that video a lot. I think that's going to be the best video so far, yeah. you know, because I put a little bit more work into it. Yeah. Yeah, but how hard is it to stay different, you know what I'm saying? Especially with, you know what I'm saying, everybody doing, like, the baby type videos. Everybody, you see motherfuckers with dry cleaner outfits, all type of crazy <laughs> shit, you know what I'm saying? Mailman. <laughs> but, like, how, how hard is it to compete, you know what I'm saying, to stay different from everybody else? Um, man, I just, I really, I, I focus on trying to, I know it sounds super cheesy, but don't try to look at everybody else. Try to find something that's you, hundred percent right. you. That you can be like, man, they ain't do this. Right. I pride myself and stuff like that. Like, if you got something that you're doing better than everybody else, it's gonna win eventually. You just gotta keep pushing it in their face. Right. No bullshit. Hey, yeah, man. But I know it, dog. Like, dog, you look a little bigger, bro. Like, was it the corona, bro? <laughs> what, what, what was it, bro? You been lifting weights? What, what's going on, Richie, dog? You back in the gym? You know, I'm trying, man. I, you know, <laughs> I treat this shit like a like a movie set or something, man. I'm trying, to, trying to make the next movie look crazy, you know. The bullshit. Hell yeah. But you know, like I was on Facebook uh, a while ago. Like you said, if you ain't got 10k, you know what I'm saying. You shouldn't be sipping on no lean. You shouldn't be taking no trips. You know what I'm saying. Like, like what made you say that? Uh, 
because I see a lot of people taking trips and then complaining about it afterward. Like, that's not what trips are for. Trips are for, you know what I'm saying, people that can afford them. Right. Like, if you can't afford it yet, then grind too. I'm not trying to put nobody down. You know what I'm saying? But, especially no damn lean. <laughs> especially right now. You know, shit's changed since the last time I've been on here. Yeah. Prices have skyrocketed <laughs> to an all-time high. Man. No bullshit. Hey, Come on now, man. Hey, but, but speaking of lean, man, you know, everybody has something to say about the lean video, bro. Like, uh, how to spot fake lean. It was a lot of niggas saying, it sounded like Richie know what he talking about. And a lot of people saying, it don't, it don't sound like he don't know what the fuck he talking about. So, I said, just go check out at Richie with the hiss on my Instagram. I might have poured up more lean in one video than you poured up in a month. So, <laughs> We're just going to have to... Yeah, at Richie with the hits. Yeah. It's spelled a little weird. W-I-T-D-A-H-I-T-Z. No Y. Richie. R-I-C-H-I-E. Bitch. Everybody... Yeah. <laughs> DJ Jerry, bitch. <laughs> the bullshit. I'm going to have to switch my name up. Why? I don't know. For what? I don't know. It's not... You know what I'm saying? Everybody does a switch up. So I don't know. What do you think should be my new name? Man. You don't want my opinion, bro. <laughs> Yo, what about for you? I, I have to switch I, the image up. <laughs> I used to call yourself some crazy shit. I don't know. Like, what? I don't know. What you think, Johnny? Well, what, you should change his name or leave it the same? <laughs> I don't know, man. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, like, <clears throat> the activists, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know you said you poured up more than the niggas did in the, in the mud or whatever, but, like, what's the most you think you'll pay for some real act if you run across it? Activists? Yeah. Real deal. I know that. I know it's. I know it's. That this discontinued all that shit. But if you run across some real act, how much Richie would pay the most? I say like a line, probably like two racks. Two racks. Yeah, that's yeah. the most. Uh, Cause before I was ready to pay a rack, but the shit like skyrocketed. Everything went up, so I'm assuming that shit done went to fifteen hundred to a thousand a line, probably more now. Bullshit. Yeah. yeah. Walks at like two fifty, you know what I'm saying? Two hundred. Two hundred a pint? Two hundred a line. Line. Two fifty, two hundred a line. It's different now. It's not the same no more. Like even perks, like I said, the same shit. If you ain't if you weren't doing drugs, don't do drugs to be cool because you're gonna be broke. Right. You ain't got an opiate addiction. Don't fuck with that shit. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing that shit to look cool. I damn near had to stop. Right. I had a little incident. But what happened? Man, Boogie was there. Boogie? <laughs> hey, Boogie, hey, if he lied, uh, call my name. Shout right? out my nigga Boogie, Shout out Boogie. Shout out Boogie in the building. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Boogie in the building. <laughs> hey, hey, if he lied, if he lied over here, uh, say say Jerry, Kevin. Just say, just just call out the Kevin. Oh, my life. What did you tell him? So what does he tell it? Man, what you know, happened, bro? shit, I poured up that four and I spilled it, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I <laughs> I was stoned. I was in the hotel. We were going crazy. I had the studio set up. Man, I was like, all right, but we need to smoke. I'm tripping. I'm high. It's like 3 in the morning. I'm like, dog, this red got me up. I'm fucking, yeah. I think I took a roller or something. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what the, I haven't said red in a real long time. Right. It's hitting me. Like I said, I poured like half of this soda out. And then poured this four in there, so it was potent. I should have, I should have diluted it. Hell yeah. We go outside to smoke. I come back in. Long story short, I get the tweak. I'm like, "Bug, I'm getting hot." He's like, "You good? Just drink some water." I was like, "I did. I've been drinking water. I just ate some food. <laughs> I'm getting hot." Man, I had to go to a little hospital. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Damn, man. Tweaking. You know Baby. what I'm saying? Man. That's why I said I'm cool. That shit, man, listen, expired red too. Oh, yeah. That shit's a whole nother ball game. So yeah. I learned my lesson. I'm 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 <laughs> I'm walking at my pace now. I still sip, but I don't sip as much as I used to. Right. That's why I started getting a little weight of shit, because I'm like, man, I'm too skinny. I look like a stick. <laughs> if someone punches me, I'm gonna fall over. You know what I'm saying? I gotta gotta do something about this. But you ain't if you you know they say if you ain't had a runs, then it was real red if you ain't had a runs. 
I, I think the runs are for beginner. But yeah, I don't know about that. That's for like when you start, when you first start sipping, yeah. you'll get the runs. You know what I'm saying? You'll be like, damn, did you? Yeah, I just, she shit a couple times, but after you get over that, there ain't none of that. Right. It's actually hard to shit yeah. when you got an opiate addiction. Like, yeah, yeah, be, with the perks, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's, it's the opposite. So it's like. I had to get an emitter. Yeah. That's, that's what cool. I'm saying, dude. That that's cool. Like, Bro, I, I, niggas cool. think the drugs is cool till they end up in the. I don't been in the hospital a couple times. I'm not trying to like, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I love drugs, but I stick to my my weed and like my little lean here and there. I don't do it every day like how I was. Right. Cause it ain't healthy. You know, I'm gonna start pushing a little bit more health. I'm not trying to uh, be Arnold Schwarzenegger or nothing like that. But <laughs> right, just you know what I'm saying. Set a new wave. You know what I'm saying. Do some shit. It's a big inspiration. Ain't. Yeah. I don't know if this is a big inspiration Look for me. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, uh you probably seen that you probably ain't, you know what I'm saying? Uh the honeycomb brazy uh shit went viral. You know what I'm saying? Like I guess the ops, you know what I'm saying, was looking for him, but they couldn't find him, so they went to his grandparents' uh house and they killed them and uh what? the house set on fire, yeah. Cause they couldn't find him. Like Wait, so you tell me they killed his grandparents, they said his grandparents that's what these niggas be on. Yeah, but like when it's beef, like real beef, like do you think do you think that situation, do you think they went too far? They would rather do some shit like that than meet you in, in front of your face, you know what I'm saying? I I, I know plenty of niggas that shit like they I done shot my parents' house, you know, numerous times. That shit is gay as hell, my nigga. Like, right. Luckily no one got killed. And then you said someone got burnt alive like yeah, yeah, we shot him, but I guess he said uh, they was on COVID, so they had the oxygen tanks. And what when they the were shooting fuck? at the house. Come it, it on, fam. Fire. That's yeah. some. That's crazy as hell. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm cool on all that. That's why I said I'm. When all this shit is said and done, I'm gonna have a bunker like GTA. All that. I'm gonna have. Uh, watch, y'all gonna see the mansion. Give me two years, oh, Tony. Shit. No bullshit. I'm throwing that in the air. Right, but like. Like, what's off limits, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to beef? Like, what's off limits? People's parents' houses and family. I feel like, bro, if you got a problem with a nigga, when you see him, it's up. Don't harp on it too much. If you out here try to, uh, I know people, you know what I'm saying, that's the problem. People harp on stuff too much. You can't harp on your losses so much to drive you nuts right. to doing something like that. And you probably didn't even mean to do that. Mm-hmm. That's how accidents happen. Bullshit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, like, I got, always got to address some uh, petty rumors, bro. Like, a lot of people, they were sending me messages, you know what I'm saying? They was like, oh, man, Richie Police, you know what I'm saying? Richie Police, Rich, Richie telling on people, you know what I'm saying? Like, what what you got to say about them type of rumors? Bought something for that occasion. Oh! Ooh! Majority of these people <laughs> can't go to the police station. Yeah. And just spend a little two dollars. You will see that I got a weak ass misdemeanor gun case. Yeah. Go find. Go find out for yourself. Right. The real blues too. <laughs> that fake shit y'all be going to buy and shit. The blues. <laughs> real thing Yeah. But like why though? Like why if you got a if you got a gun case, why would they just all of a sudden oh Richie police? You know what I'm saying? After your case. So, well, there was some incidences with me and Huncho. He threw some shit out because he felt salty. I don't really going to dive too much into that, but that's why I pulled out the blues. The blues speak for themselves. You know, Huncho was birthed out my crib with a birth certificate. We fed him about the Leos because he was malnourished. You know what I'm saying? So, it's nothing really I could say. So, you got to check it out for yourself. Hell yeah, man. Hey, but hold on one second. Hold on, hold on. Oh. We about to play a motherfucking game, man. (laughs) This shit is called the Big Guys Box, man. Hey, look, look, look. You get 60 seconds with the box, but you got to answer each question in the box in 20 seconds or less. You ready? I'm ready. Come on, let's go, man. Fuck it up, man. Richie with the hits. What's happening? Read it out loud. Read it out loud. What it say? Have you ever leaked any artist's music without their knowledge for financial profit? 
No, sir. I hit everybody up. No bullshit. Go to the next one. Go to the next one. Go to the next one. Richie with the hizzles had to. Have you ever resold or re re rocked any old beat to a new customer? If you can find it, I got this right here <laughs> for you. This is why I brought this shit, man. You know, real blues. You know what I'm saying? It's it's hard to make this. Fa- I mean, I brought this just so y'all could win. <laughs> All right, go to the last one. Go to the last one, man. Right, you get the last one. One more too in there. Time. Have you ever got hoed by your girl in front of your clients? Yeah. Man, I, that's why I stopped checking perks. Okay. Because it was it was too much. Like, I, you know, I don't want to get into that. I might get a DV. <laughs> uh, uh, top three Latino rappers of all time. Ooh. Top three, bro. This last one is almost over, bro. Top three Latino rappers of all time. Richie with the hits, who you got, man? Big Big Pud. Yeah. Uh, fucking uh. Pud. Fuck, who else? Fuck, fuck, who else? Fuck, fuck. Who else? Da- Daddy Yankee, that- thank you of uh, my life. Uh, he's for he's for the for Spanish okay, people. Okay, okay, Daddy Yankee, yeah, I'm they'll, fucking they'll, they'll knock you out. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, uh, okay, all right, uh, all right, all right. Fucking Daddy Yankee, Daddy Yankee. And I got to throw. One I don't more. even like Fat Joe because I can't even think of nobody. Fat Joe. Uh, all right, fuck it, man. Fat, Fat Joe, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I'm top three. I don't know. We got to check the time, man. We going to see if we going to roll the field back. I don't know if Richie beat it or not, uh, man. I don't know. I don't, I don't, like don't know. I don't know. We, we going to see, though. We going to see. Hell yeah, but shit. Like, like what? I know you kind of touched on it a little bit, but like what really happened between you and Huncho? So, long story short, man, I, there was an agreement. And it was broke. The agreement was... What's the word? I'm just gonna dive into it. He has some songs on there that were mine. He didn't engineer. He didn't ask me about. I said, "These are for my next tape. Got to take these off." He's like, "Damn, they're gonna make me take off the whole tape to take these songs off." I said, "You didn't ask me. It's gonna take a week or so to re-upload. It's not that big a deal." Uh-huh. He didn't want to take it down, so. And the thing is, is we taught this man everything. Yeah. We birthed this nigga. Like, I literally birthed him at the last interview. Like, I had to convince niggas that he was a real engineer. He was really using my presets. Then he's going to throw some situations about some police ass shit when he was in the situations himself. And he knows what's going on with the people in them situations. Right. I never had nothing no, or nobody go to jail behind me ever in my life. Y'all can research my shit. Like I said, that's why I brought these blues out. Because at the end of the day, that shit's $2, like I said, for some paperwork. My shit is respected out here on both ends. And that's the thing. It's a lot of hate. I can't really dive too much into it. But kind of lost my train of thought. Long story short. You got to know the facts. Right. Everybody knows this nigga came from me. So, I say he's not doing too hot right now without me. I'm, my name's still going. All, my name's always going to go. Right. I'm about to get a new stew. I know I've been saying it for the longest time, but shit keeps happening. And I know you, we talked a little bit about it, but I don't want to. It's always something traumatic going on. That's why I said I'm just trying to. Get the fuck out of here. Right. It's about that time. Right. Yeah, but, you know, like I said uh, earlier, like, of course, y'all don't hate each other. Like you said, y'all um, y'all done came up together. Well, well, you know what I'm saying? Y'all helped each other out, If you know what I'm saying, in some type of way. You know what I'm saying? Do you think y'all could rekindle uh, y'all relationship in the future? Uh, me, no. Only because he do some gay shit. I can't really. Not for that. Oh shit, that shit walk wall is fucking killing me. <laughs> I thought you was about to pull out a black card or something. <laughs> oh, no, I got I man, I got some more little dubs. Yeah, 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 but shit, dog, what you got dropping, man? I heard, you, man, you got you and Melo, man, got something dropping, man. What's going on with you and Melo, bro? What's going on, man? Oh, wait, What's that's why on? I'm here today. Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm here today. <laughs> me and Melo got some shit for y'all. Yeah. See, everybody been begging me for years, like, for certain songs, and we want to, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's time now. 
And like I said, everything we've been saving is going to be worth it on this tape. I'm hyping the fuck out of this tape because it is that. This is the best piece of work we done came out with. And I'm standing on it. This is the best piece of work. So, it's called... Well, actually, I got a picture. I probably, I'll probably i send it to you later on. Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. probably show it, but... <clears throat> What's the name of it going to be called? It's Richie with the Hits and Mellow. Richie That's it. Mellow. EP. Mm. Very simple. Yeah, yeah. But, the, man, the EP's so cool. I made the artwork myself. I suck. But... I'm getting there. Oh uh, yeah. And we're gonna keep it we're gonna keep it moving. I'm not gonna have no excuses no more. I'm chief keeping it from now on. <laughs> so oh, bullshit. Hey yeah, so what's gonna be happening? I, you gonna be uh having your own solos tracks or is people gonna be rapping to the beats or what what type of E P is it gonna be? Uh it's a little bit of both. It's like I'm I'm in there a little bit. But it's a lot it's both our beats and a lot of the people that we done fucked with in the past. The tracks that didn't come out yet are gonna be on this one. Yeah. Everything that, you know what I'm saying, we miss, we feel like the hardest ones that people miss are going to be on this tape. Everybody comes out with their singles and shit, but sometimes we don't have the justification to be like, hey, we're going to throw this on our tape. But just we done been putting this together for some time now. so Can't wait, man. When is dropping? <clears throat> we need a date, man. We need a date, bro. Y'all gonna make me look at the phone. I don't got a date, but let me see. February 20th. Give me a month. What? Let's do March 20th. March 20th. Yeah. All right, bet, man. I'm gonna hit you. I'm gonna be beating down your line, bro. Like, soon as, soon as you March just made 20th. me set a date. Fuck it. <laughs> March 20th. And yeah. it's gonna be out before then, anyway. This interview gonna like be out before the March 20th. March 20th. Oh yeah, man. Oh, come on, yeah. man. What up, man? You don't fuck with me, bro. What up? That be the you come on. Me, bro. That, see, I didn't even. I didn't, bro. I'm so sorry. I'm so. It's an honor. You know what I'm saying? This gonna be the. Oh, oh yeah. This gonna be that. Now it's gonna be. Now it's stamped. It's yeah. gonna be that for sure. I go crazy on that, bro. I go crazy on that, bro. Just pull up on me, dog. I go crazy on that. Man. Wow. I'm excited, y'all. <laughs> we gonna have merch, all that. I'm so excited. No bullshit. Hell yeah. Um, but you know, on a more serious note, you know what I'm saying? Like uh a situation happened, you know what I'm saying? Like when Juan uh left the studio, a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, had their own little story about what happened and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like some people were saying like uh Richie set him up, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people were saying, um, oh yeah, he he just got caught lacking. He he won he went on point that night. Like uh much as you can talk about, like, express what really happened that night. So, without getting into too much detail, once again, because I don't like doing that on these interviews. <sighs> you know, after these incidences, I lost my studio, my business. So, I've been pushing my music because I don't have the engineering position anymore or a space to do it. So, if anyone thinks that I did some shit like that on purpose in my own home that I make money out of legally is fucking retarded. Second of all, it's my boy. You know what I'm saying? What what did did they break me off a piece of the chain? Did they give me uh you know what I'm saying? What did I get out of this? It just don't it don't add up, don't make no sense. And I done heard some rumors myself. I don't know if they know, but it's always people coming up to me like, oh, we know who took the chain, this, this, that, and the other. I don't got time to be trying to investigate no more. Like I said, after that incident, my parents' house got shot up like 19 times. I don't know who did it. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired. Right. On the way here, some incident happened. So I'm, like, I'm tired, bro. You know what I'm saying? All these, I've been dealing with street niggas my whole life, and it's finally taking a toll on me to where it's like, I'm just gonna focus on myself. I don't got time. Right. I feel like I'm worth it more. Niggas use you, man. At the end of the day, you got something to offer, and they don't, they're gonna play it cool. They're gonna play it cool in your face until the, the, the paradigm shift. You're gonna feel it like, whoa. I had like four niggas do that shit to me. 
I done brought him from the dirt. Nothing. Switch. I'm not saying Juan did that to me. Because right. I'm still cool with Juan. But it just took take some time and realizing, like, you got to add one plus one is two. Hell yeah. But yeah, anybody got a building, I'm willing to rent ASAP. I need some shit. Hit me up. I rich you with the hits. It's a down payment. He makes sure you got the envelope for everything, bro. All right. <laughs> no, real. So March 20th, you know what I'm saying? That's the date. March 20th, man. Melo yes, Richie with his EP. March 20th, man. March 20th. Wait, hey, so what? Y'all what y'all gonna do some videos? We y'all got some videos dropping with it, man, or what's going on, man? So Let us I'm, know. I'm I'm trying to see because I'm not trying to say too much, but I'm on a couple of these with some some bigger Milwaukee artists. Okay. And it's really up to them. I'm going to drop the tape. I might hit them up beforehand, but if people aren't trying to shoot on my end, then I'm going to try to get some other people to shoot that are on the tape. But some type of video is coming out. Yeah. For sure, for sure. There's going to be some promotion too. I'm going to put a little bit of promotion behind it. Probably some studio updates. Where's Johnny? Johnny. Yeah. Here's Johnny. Beyond, yeah, man. beyond. Yeah, beyond. I'm definitely going to be <laughs> fucking with him in the next couple little studio updates and shit like that. I always keep him close. Bullshit. You already know what the fuck it is, man. DJ Jerry, a.k.a. the voice of the streets. It's that motherfucking mixtape trappers radio, man. Richie with the hits. What's happening? What the fuck going on, man? <laughs> I just like blues, man. I'm going to. Like I said, next time we come on here, if we do, it's going to be something spectacular. I might roll in in a... Man. I don't, <laughs> I don't fucking know. Rolls Royce through the fucking door. Boom. I'll pay for the damages. You already know what the fuck it is, man. Happy birthday, Mo, man. We in a building, bitch. <laughs>